welcome back to my channel. So today's video I wanted to make about why I am dairy and gluten free. A lot of people ask me um, why I decided to take that route and is it a per personal preference? Are you just allergic or what is the deal? So I wanted to make a video so that I could just explain it here in one place. So in May 2016 is when I started my weight loss journey. Uh, the first thing that I decided to eliminate was gluten out of my diet because for me I wanted to just not you know pick an exact complicated diet or a low calorie diet or anything that was going to be too difficult and I was going to fall off of it because I've tried so many diets I feel like I've tried every diet that exists and it just didn't work for me so I wanted to try something different by just eliminating a food group basically as a whole so I eliminated gluten because for me um, it makes me really tired and I can consume a lot of it and not ever get really that full or satisfied or whatever the word is. Um, but so those two things, I get really, really tired. My energy levels just completely crash. And part of the thing that I wanted to start doing was I wanted to get into fitness. So I started working out 30 minutes a day and I did at home workouts. I did some of the beach body workouts. So the first one I started with was Insanity Max 30. And I knew I really was gonna need as much energy as possible. So for eliminating gluten, that was gonna be the first thing for me. So the second thing that I decided to eliminate was dairy. Um, so after a week of eliminating gluten, I felt so much better. I was doing my workouts, everything was going awesome. I felt better but I wasn't losing the weight that I wanted to lose at the pace that I wanted to lose it at. So like after like a week or two, I still hadn't lost any weight. And I'm very impatient and I got frustrated. So I started obviously immediately looking for things to change in my diet. And it kind of just like, I don't know, it kind of hit me one day. I'm like, what about dairy? Like I eat so much cheese, cream in my coffee. It's something that I really consume a lot of. So I'm going to just try it because I've never done that before. I've never done dairy elimination and I wanted to just see. So after the first day, I lost like a pound and then it just kept going down, down, down. I lost like 20 pounds in the first couple of months and I wasn't doing anything really crazy restrictive. I just said in my mind, I can have mostly what I want to eat as long as I don't have dairy and gluten. So if I want to have chips and salsa, I'll have chips and salsa when I want to have it. If I want to have some french fries, I can have french fries as long as they're not bread. Another thing that I use is um, either like Califia Farms uh, coffee creamer and they have like usually flavors or nut pods, dairy free creamers um, and things like this. So really to be able to have, you know, chocolate as long as it's not dairy chocolate, make sure there's no milk in it get more of a darker chocolate. So our alternatives, I can make um, a video on dairy-free alternatives if that's something you guys would be interested in, like what I use. Being able to have the things that you want and the things that you love within certain boundaries. So I think for me, that's been really important and it got to a certain point that I couldn't lose weight doing that anymore, but I lost like the initial 50 pounds that I lost out of the 80 from doing that. So I strongly recommend that everybody just kind of find like their things, pick like a food group or pick a certain things. You know, I eat a lot of blah, so I'm gonna try eliminating that. Something obviously that's not healthy, not, oh, I eat a lot of broccoli, so I'm not gonna eat that broccoli. Um, but yeah, something that you know that you have as like maybe a weakness, um, pick some part about that that you feel like you have a hard time with and then eliminate that. Um, I feel like that's really what worked for me. Um, I have my alternatives and I use them. So I have, you know, instead of milk, I use almond milk or cashew milk. Instead of cheese, I use Daya vegan cheese or Trader Joe's has a cheese as well. Um, Kite Hill has an almond milk yogurt and a cream cheese spread. Um, that tastes similar to cream cheese obviously none of the things that you're gonna use are gonna taste the same but the longer that you are away from them and don't have them in your diet the more 
you're not really going to associate them with, you know, like right now, I don't compare how almond milk tastes to cow milk. I don't compare how vegan cheese tastes to regular cheese because it's been so long since I've had them. It's just become like their own category of food. So the good news is there are alternatives to everything. Um, you can still have all of the things you love, just have the better versions of them. That way you don't ever feel like you're torturing yourself. Um, and it's crazy too because like 75% of Americans are lactose intolerant and don't even know about it. And your body just has a hard time digesting milk products. So some of the things that happen if you're lactose intolerant is you have cramps, bloating, runny nose, excess mucus, all kinds of things. But 75% of people, so that I don't like the almost 100% of the people that I know eat dairy. Um, I am one of the only people that I know who avoids dairy the way that I do, and it's it's crazy. It's just like even a lot of people they really really want to lose weight and when I tell them I went dairy free every person almost one for one says oh I could never do that I love cheese too much I'm like I loved cheese too it was really part of my diet every day with breakfast with my eggs with salad at lunch or whatever cheeseburger or whatever it was pizza for dinner I had cheese in every meal and in snacks, which is what led me to 230 pounds in the beginning. Like, it's just part of, for me, it doesn't work for my body. Um, there's people who don't change their diets at all, only eliminate dairy and don't do anything, don't start exercising, don't count calories or anything, just by eliminating dairy, lose weight. So it's definitely, definitely, there's something to it. So. I wish more people would consider it. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope it helped just at least one person. Um, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I am really hoping soon to be able to post my 100 pound weight loss video. I have to be able to get a little bit more motivation since I'm so close to my goal weight and then kick it back into gear to hit 130 so I will have lost 100 pounds. So make sure to stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching and you can also follow me on um, my day to day life on Instagram as my adventure fit.